Mmm. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, this is my review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Voyager Galaxy Force. <clears throat> I mean, Optimus Prime. And one, one knows more delicious than this toy? This awesome quiche I just smothered in agave nectar, which oh, I'm gonna finish. Lovely. So, um, I'll be back in a few. Alrighty, I'm back. This guy just came in the mail yesterday and, um, I was shocked. I mean, compared to, uh, let me go get it real quick. Compared to, compared to little Twig Optimus over here. I mean, I mean, look, look, look at this comparison. Look at this comparison. There is none. I'm, I'm not even calling this the same character anymore. I'm calling this Galaxy Prime from now on. Because I can't, I don't believe in having two of the same characters from the same line, so. Look, look at this thing. Look at this thing. You can't, these, this is just embar. this should be embarrassing to, the, to, to Prime Toys, in general. I mean, I, I, now, now I see why he, he, I hope this character does die. And the, I hope that he did die in the end of season two. And his soul is just put into an entirely new body. It's like they found some way to tap into the spirits of Prime, and now here he is. It's just, it's just embarrassing. But, I like both toys still. I don't, you know, I, I really like, I really like the, the different approach they took to the original mold. How it looks like animated and movie toys sort of got together and, you know, out popped this jacked up little twig prime but enough of that this isn't his review oh, I fell on my quiche I'll be back alright enough about quiche miss over there um this toy is really beefy really big and comes with a flippin jetpack again this is now my main Transformers Prime Optimus Prime because one I love Optimus as I can fly two he still turns into a truck and three It's flippin' Beefimus Optimus Prime. Again, I need a new name for this guy because I do not consider him an Optimus. This guy is too awesome to be an Optimus. He sh this should have been Transformers Prime Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. Because why? He looks too much like Galaxy Force Prime and Animated Prime and made this guy. So, again, I'm not really sure where to go on this review because it sounds like I'm going to be saying the same things over and over and over again. But I'm going to pause this review and try to clean the quiche off of Quiche Miss Prime over there and I'll be back in a few. So anyway, back to the review. Now, like I said previously, this guy is pretty impressive for a Prime toy. He's incredibly sturdy. He has none of those little holes and... and what, what's that? You're, get away. <laughs> Anyway, so as you can see, I took a weapon from a Transformer whose weapon is obviously too big for that character because they didn't want to give them the correct weapon. So, let's look at this in general. Again, this is, has to be the best Prime toy to come out of the Prime line. My bad, these aren't Prime toys anymore. Why? Because the Prime line is dead. Apparently, they renamed it everything Beast Hunters. Because apparently, the next enemy in the Transformers Prime, I mean Beast Hunters storyline, happens to be a giant flippin' dragon. Not Scourge, but Predaking. Predaking's whose Voyager toy I skipped because it looked lame. So I'm gonna wait for the bigger one because that looks just as awesome. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the bigger Optimus because this toy that I have right now is gonna pay on comparison to it. And again, I don't have the space, nor do I want to live to the embarrassment that I bought that I'm gonna buy a bigger and larger, better version of this awesome toy, which again I'll have no idea what to do with, but probably give away to a friend and trade for something else. Why well, you give it to me? I I did that once and it's it's look look where it is now. What's what? it doing what's it doing in your bookcase right now? See, it's taking a chill poo. Yeah, it's it, hard fighting. Uh huh. What's it doing right now on your bookshelf? Keeping my books safe mm -hmm. from harm. Jordan, what is it doing on your bookshelf right now? It's chilling. It's chilling. That's what you call that. Yeah, like a boss. 
<laughs> like a boss. I'll, I'll take that. But, uh, again, I think I've said pretty much all I could about robot mode. Well, okay, let, let's go into some of the features. If you guys don't like the winged Optimus look, which I do love because it's my favorite Optimus body form, winged Optimus Prime. Yeah, you know I mean, really, you can't beat this. This is just too awesome. So, but if some people don't like that, you can fold the wings away and he looks, you know, sort of just as intimidating, but just not as intimidating. So let's do that. Let's take away RC's BFG, which fits him perfectly, by the way. The Star Saber, which has been infected with some sort of disease. Let's take away his little jet thrusters here, which do actually turn into, he, get, he gets little, I call these the Everdeens, because he gets these little powered up sort of bow and arrow sort of deals, but I'll, I'll show those later. And then you can fold away the jet pack. Now, his, his back doesn't tap into anything at all, which is kind of a pain, but if you set everything right and then use the, you know, a, some form of leverage. You can get it to stay there, but really you can't fiddle around with it too much or it's just gonna flop around like a maniac. So, let's fold this down. Gonna fold these down, flip them around so that the smoke top, nope, oh, really just, nope, that's not how you do it. Again, I didn't read the instructions for this thing. I literally just pulled it out the box last night and then I played around with it, took some pictures, and then I went to bed. Why? Because I got back from work at 11 something o'clock. Yeah, right. Sorry. And you just fold the wings around. And then there you go. You got Backpack him as Prime. Again, not a bad looking figure with the. Again, he's still Winged Optimus Prime, which I. I like I said, my favorite form of Optimus. The movie Optimus is. Winged movie Optimus is my favorite form of Optimus. Too bad, unlike this one, the wings can't transform the truck just as well. And plus, I'm going to pay $95 for another leader, leader class Optimus Prime. Which I would if I knew I had someone to give away my previous other leader class Optimus Prime. Me? You don't have the space for it. Oh my. Some plastic chipped off. <laughs> That's embarrassing. But anyway. Again. I like how he looks even with the wings folded up. I'm not going to leave him with the wings folded up because he looks too awesome with the wings folded out. But, the backpack isn't as irritating as it is on other Transformer Prime toys. He look, his smokestacks look awesome in that angled up form. Looks like he's blown smoke out of his back or something. Which again, I'd love to see that figure do. He gets angry, he's charging towards you, and you just see a bunch of smoke just coming out of his back. But, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to pause right now and take a picture of this. Okay, I'm back. But again, as you can see, he has sort of like the Megatron shoulder things going on here, but you can easily fold those down. But, you know, he sort of, he sort of resembles a little stick prime over there, so I like, I like to leave him up, because he, look, he looks intimidating. It looks like he, while he was missing all his body parts in the end of Season 2, he sort of clawed his way up to Megatron and started chewing him out like a zombie. And then all his parts sort of melded in. I mean, uh, Megatron didn't have a hand at the end of season two anyway. Maybe he just ate all his other whole arm, the rest of his arm. And you know, like in the movie, he was like, give me your face. He's all like, give me your body. And then, you know, he just sort of, <laughs> just sort of ate him. And I would, again, if I make a Transformer series, it would most likely have to air on Adult Swim. <laughs> but you know, let's, I'm gonna attempt to turn this thing into a truck and We'll go from there. Alrighty, and we're back. Okay, this was a little bit too easy. You're literally just folding Optimus up, turning his waist around, and then tabbing everything together. Again, I wasn't afraid to not use the instructions until I figured out how to transform it. Now, let's, there's some good points and bad points about this, about this um, truck. And I'm gonna start with the bad first. There's really just only one thing. Um, What's this? What, what, what do you see in there? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's his head. Maybe I did it wrong. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm quite confident I did not do this wrong. I'm not going to look at the instructions because I know I might be wrong. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So, but I can easily cover that up 
with this nope that's not gonna work uh yes yes stabbing truck anyway uh you know if if you like you know stumpy moving trucks moving vans of death then you know this this is a truck mode for you i mean it's very spiky it it looks like a garbage truck on the back i mean you know you could just sort of pull these out and just do, 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 do. but uh no it's 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 cool i guess i mean i okay i honestly like prime truck modes better but I guess if you're going for, oh my gosh, I almost got blown up in the last season and I need to armor up and kick some serious robot booty, then yes, this is the vehicle chuck mode for you. Um, again, I really think they're emulating too much Galaxy Force for this one because winged truck mode, once I get these wingeds out and... It really just depends how you want to angle the wings, if you want to do so at all. But I honestly would have loved this toy better if it turned into a fire truck. Because, again, Galaxy Force Prime is my favorite. Well, I bet if they, stream, if, if they streamlined Galaxy Force Prime, this is what he would look like. He just needs to be longer and have fire hoses coming out of him. But, you know, if you like, if you like flying trucks, then this is, this is your thing. I find it kind of amusing. Um, if you want to continue with the flying thing, his 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 Everdeen weapons come with you know you could plug them. You can't plug them in in there. Uh, I honestly don't know where you plug these things because I keep them on his back because they. I really don't like um, bone string weapons on giant robots because it just doesn't make sense. Because by the time you have this sucker loaded up and aimed at me, I probably would have already blown your head off you. Yeah. So, if any of you guys know where to plug this thing, I do know that it plugs somewhere in this general area, and then he has little rocket boosters. But, I'm just going to be lame and put them underneath the wings like a, like a 747. So... There we go. And again, that's all I have to say about the truck mode. Nothing impressive, but impressive at the same time. It's very sturdy. It does not roll properly. These wheels weren't made for rolling, and that's just what they won't do. So, I would transform um, Stickamus over there, but. I forgot how, so I'm not gonna. But, yeah, that's, that's basically it. This is 747 miss. Right? And, yeah, he's he's cool. I, I recommend him. I mean, if you like winged optimists, I, honestly, if, if you're a bit more patient than I am, I would wait for the giant, I, w I would wait for the big one to come out. But if you want, you know, if, if you want something to play around with until then, which I'm most likely going to get the jumbo one anyway, but again, I have no space for it. I'm going to get it anyway and probably keep it on my floor or underneath my bed. But I, I recommend this. This, this, is, this is a really fun toy. If you like, if you really dislike Prime Optimus for the fact that he looked like he was basically a weak old man fighting a, another giant old man robot who's just hopped up on Dark Energon, then, again, he is about to do some cracked up deceptive booty kicking. So I can't wait for season three, or I mean, Beast Hunters Prime season one, or whatever it's called. I honestly don't care, I'm gonna watch it anyway. But, burn to lift off in three, two, Ace Convoy signing up. Oh, oh, forgot to add this. He ha Once you take out the box, make sure to pry his, like, body loose, because he has all this awesome waist articulation that, again, Prime Toys seem to lack. But look at this, look at this, yeah! Okay. <laughs>